Yo, what is going on? So excited to see you on today. I want to make sure I have this correctly. Awesome. So, what's going on, gang? It's been a while since I've shared some awesome peeps with you, and uh, that's what I wanted to do. What's up, Jetty? Here he is. He already is. So, I'm going to be talking today with Jetty Azuma about how to unleash, discover, and unleash your masculine power. And I'm so excited because there aren't a whole lot of guys that I really vibe with on this front uh, around masculinity. And I would say that Jetty is absolutely one of those gentlemen that I feel very confident in sharing with you guys uh, as the as tribe, as folks that, that really love um, the work that I do. So uh, ready to rock and roll. Let's get Mr. Jetty on here. So give me one moment. What's up, Holly? What's up, Kevin? Good to see you guys. So let's get, uh, let's get Mr. Mr. Jetty on. Let's see, invite. There we go. Whoop. Let's see. Awesome. So excited you guys are here. Why don't you go ahead and comment below uh, where you're coming in from while I'm trying to get Jetty on here because I want to know that you can hear me because sometimes the audio is a little funky. So let me just know that you can hear me and that we are good. Here we go. Mr. Jetty wants to be in your video. I'm going to approve it. And he is coming on right now. There he is. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? Man? I'm so excited to have you today, Jetty. Me too, man. I'm a little under the weather. This uh, this is like kind of like my stuffy nose phase, but I'm excited to be here, man. I'm ready to go. Oh, I know that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Holly's coming from Texas. Good. I love it. From Abilene, Texas. Yeah. Um, so, Jetty, so excited to have you here, brother. And obviously, you know, in our, our couple chats, and we've known each other only briefly, but uh, just mm -hmm. a real affinity for you as brother and just seems like you uh, having a really grounded uh approach to the masculine which i really like that's not over mm. uh and i think especially in our day and age and we'll get into this of like the really it's it's these, these polar opposites where it's hyper masculinized to where it's like oh, let's just tear each other's balls off and it's like this really <laughs> um and then we can all get like a super feminized version of the masculine so i like where you come uh to what i i feel like is a fairly balanced approach to the masculine um and i know you do a lot of work in like the jungles and like people going out into nature and all these things so we'll get into that um but super excited to have you here and uh thanks for joining us man likewise my man yeah i'm, I'm excited to have this conversation i see a bunch of my fellas jumping on here i see shane titus adam i saw <laughs> tim ty up in there we got we got a crew going up we got here, the man. crew great that's so good, man. Well, this is going to be a great review for your folks and totally new for mine, which I'm super excited. What's up, Sam? Good to see you, brother. So I would love to talk about what got you to this place. I know now, you know, I know you've gone through physical therapy and some other modalities. So I'd love to just hear what brought you from the man who just got started and was like just coming up, figuring out what personal development was, but even the masculine and uh, your body. I know a lot of your work revolves around movement as well. So um, would love mm -hmm. to just hear what brought you from where you were to uh, where you are today. Yeah, man. Well, thank you for giving me this opportunity to share that part of my story. You know, I'll keep it as lean as we can, and then we'll dive in where we want to. Um, I, I think I had a pretty typical upbringing, um, or it's actually more atypical. You know, my, both my parents are still together. They live in the same house that I grew up in. Yeah. I wasn't one of those guys that came from a really troubled background when it comes to family dynamics, uh, at least not on the surface. And so, you know, going through high school, getting into a good college, going through physical therapy school, it all seemed pretty typical. You know, I, I, at least it didn't seem very difficult or challenging on the surface. But by the time that I graduated college, here I am 23 years old, I had a doctorate degree, I had a, a, the first time in my life, I had a great paying job and was able to pay all of my bills, no problem. And I'd never felt more empty. I'd never felt more incomplete in my life. And what I was feeling at the time, looking back in retrospect, was just a complete disconnect from the authentic version of myself, who I really am on a core level, what I'm really here to do. Wow. I'm a great physical therapist, I still am. And I, I was really good at doing that job, but it never really lit me up it never really ignited me to go out and go to work and, and feel inspired about what I was doing. So I did what a lot of other men 
let's just talk about men for a minute. I did what a lot of other men and, and all kinds of people do is I started numbing myself. I was smoking a lot of marijuana. I was smoking a lot of cigarettes. I was going out and partying, staying up too late, waking up way too early, and just not really taking good care of myself because I didn't want to face the fact that I had no idea what my life was for. I had no clue what I was here to do. In fact, I couldn't even see my life past about three years down the line. I could kind of imagine what my life looked like, but yeah. I just couldn't, I, I didn't even have a vision for myself. So recognizing the pain of that and seeing that something needed to change, I went on a form, what, what ended up being a four month journey out to the West Coast. I'm originally from New Jersey. I was living in New York, left everything that was familiar to me, everything that I knew, everywhere I was loved and accepted and went into the unknown for four months to discover how the world would receive me, who I was when I just showed up out there in the world with all different types of encounters and opportunities. And it led me to everything that matters in my life, including, most importantly, this work that I do with men, helping them to discover the source of their power, reignite that masculine flame that for a lot of us gets dimmed out by whether it's the feminization of the culture that we're, that we're raised in or just not being tuned in to those masculine practices that are ancient and sacred to me. Um, and that's what, that's what lights me up now, is, is having opportunities to create spaces for men to recognize, identify, and discover the source of that power and to unleash it, because it's a beautiful power when it's really aligned and directed. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, what I would love to hear is where it really moved, because it sounds like alcohol or um not alcohol marijuana cigarettes some of these things these these vices i guess we could say that kind of took you off the path so what was it what was like sort of that defining moment for you that really shifted mm. to i'm really gonna shift this and and really like what was your moment of like okay it's time to like really show up in my masculinity in a bigger way yeah, well, it's interesting. I had a few of those moments. It was kind of like a boom, boom, boom series of moments. I'd say the first one that really woke me up was I was 23 years old and I got arrested in New York City. And I spent, I spent an overnight in a holding cell um, basically because I was, I was smoking weed in public. And, sure. they, and I had just come back from a wedding for my, for my older brother. And the gift he gave me was this antique, beautiful knife as like, you know, thanks for being my best man, et cetera. So when that, you know, the circumstances were perfect, it was like right place, right time, because that was the first time I'd ever really had major circumstances for my choices in my life or major consequences. Mm -hmm. And I was like, shit, I gotta be, I gotta take care of this myself. Yeah. So I'd say that moment really woke me up and I decided from that point on, I'm gonna take care of my business. I'm not gonna look to my parents to take care of anything for me in this, in this case. Realizing that I'm not that guy. I'm not the guy who gets, arrested that that's that's not me that's not what, what my life was about you know looking myself in the mirror moment where i said dude this can't be it this can't be all that you came here for and and once i realized that was when i decided to leave my job to go out on this adventure out into the west and i, I just followed my gut followed my intuition from that point there, there's a lot of other moments but i'd say that was one of the most p pivotal ones yeah Wow, that's beautiful. You're breaking up just a little bit. I don't know if it's on my end or yours, um, but I guess, I, yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep playing it out and see how it goes. But um, that's awesome, man. I love hearing those definitive uh -huh. moments for, for men um, of really coming to uh, manhood, of like, this is what it means to be a man for me and to really stand for, um, yeah, just like higher standards. I think that's been a, a conversation that I've been having a lot lately with people is around higher standards. Um, so, uh, this is fantastic, man. I love it. Um, cool. So, so tell me a little bit more about the work and how that sort of evolved over time to where it is today and, and really even where it started. Cause obviously you got into physical therapy at some point and then, and then to transition to where it is now. Yeah. You know, one of the big transition points for me was when I arrived out here in California, I was welcomed onto a men's team which, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's a circle of men getting together to support each other, being the best men we can be. And I, I attribute 95% or more of who I've become to having that space to be vulnerable, to share my experience, to be mirrored by the men that I'm spending time with, and to also practice supporting other men um, on their journey. Because 
you realize that beneath mm. the layers of shame and shit that what we all that have guy? that keep us from being the men we want to be. One sec here, guys. I want to make sure we have. Oh, I might have lost my man. Let's see. Let's see if Jetty comes back on. Oop. Oh, man. Okay, well, Jetty, let's see if we can get you back on here, brother. We're just, uh, let's see, Jetty wants to join. Hmm. Just having some quick technical difficulties here with Jetty. Says he's back. Let's see. Um, see if you can invite yourself again, Jetty. I'm having troubles getting you back on here. Yeah, see if you can get yourself uh, invited back in here, Jetty. And then we can keep on rocking. Mm hmm. Well, I'll just have to invite Will Will on. Will's got to have his own, though. Let's see. Uh, so, Jetty, go ahead, and if you can invite yourself back on, otherwise we can we can prematurely wrap it up and do this another time. But, um, Jetty, that was awesome, dude. Uh, guys, I do want to introduce, or at least invite everybody, if you're sticking around up until this point, please do go find Jetty and all of the incredible work that man is doing. Um, we'll try to bring him back again another time. Uh, for some other reason, we're having some technical difficulties today, but uh, super appreciate the work you're doing in the world, Jetty, and so excited to get to have people seeing the work that you're doing more and more. Um, it's powerful work. He's doing some work, guys, in nature, having men really rediscover uh, their masculinity. So super powerful work. If, again, if you're at all interested, shoot Jetty a message. Just find him here and shoot him a message. And uh, with that, guys... Big hugs. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.